In this video, I'll show you how to build your own battery-powered mini propeller car. To build the car, you'll need the tools and materials pictured here. You can find a complete list of materials linked in the description below this video. Start by lightly sanding two toothpicks to decrease their diameter. Keep sanding until the plastic beads can easily slide onto the toothpicks and spin freely. Next, use hot glue to attach the two toothpicks to the bottom of the battery holder to form axles. Make sure the toothpicks are parallel to each other. To attach the wheels, slide a bead onto one of the toothpicks. Then, use the cutting edge of needle nose pliers to cut off the pointy end of the toothpick. Finally, use the flat part of the pliers to crimp the toothpick to flatten and widen the end. This will prevent the bead from sliding off. Repeat this for the other three wheels, and you should have a car that can roll. Now it's time to connect your circuit. Cut the motor wires and the battery holder wires so they are each a few centimeters long. Then strip at least five millimeters of insulation off the end of each wire. Twist the wires together, red to red and black to blue, to make the circuit. If you have a soldering iron available, you can solder the connections to make them stronger. Wrap each connection in electrical tape to prevent short circuits. If you have heat shrink tubing available, you can use that instead, but remember you need to slide it onto the wires before you twist them together. Your propellers come in packs of four, two clockwise and two counterclockwise. You need a counterclockwise propeller. To identify one, hold them like this and look for one where the top blade has the curved leading edge pointing to your left. Press the propeller onto the shaft of the motor. Now, to make your life easier later, put one of the batteries, the one with the plus sign that goes towards the back of the car, into the battery holder. Look for the plus symbol inside the battery holder and make sure the plus signs line up. Cut a small strip of cardstock and bend it slightly so it's curved. Use hot glue to attach it to each side of the battery pack forming an arch that will support the motor. Then glue the motor to the top with the propeller facing backwards. Bend the wires out of the way so they won't get caught by the spinning propeller. Optionally, you can add googly eyes or other decorations to your car. To start your car, simply put in the second battery. Watch your fingers on the propeller because it will start spinning right away. If your car doesn't go straight at first, check to make sure one of the wheels isn't stuck. This can cause the car to turn to one side. After you get your car working, find out how fast it can go or how far it can go before it crashes. To turn the car off, simply remove one of the batteries. You can also think about how you could use your car for a science or engineering project. For example, what happens if you change the number of batteries? Each additional battery adds more voltage to the motor, but also makes the car heavier. Do you think this will make the car go faster, slower, or stay the same. Or maybe you don't like the design of the car. For example, you could find it annoying to remove the battery to turn it on and off. You could use a battery pack with a built-in switch instead, or if you have a soldering iron, add a separate power switch to your circuit. You can also just have fun with your car. There's nothing wrong with that, but be careful. Finally, if you've been searching around YouTube for propeller-powered cars, you might have seen this one featured by YouTubers Veritasium and Xyla Foxland. This vehicle is powered entirely by the wind, with no onboard battery, and it uses some pretty surprising and counterintuitive physics to do so. So, while that isn't what you built in this project, if you'd like to build your own, you can follow the instructions in Xyla's video, and follow our suggestions for how you can turn it into a more formal science project, linked in the description below this video. For these and thousands of other free, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.